Welcome again to another devotion from Wisconsin Lutheran Chapel. If you're watching this today on Friday, it is Good Friday. So I want to talk to you about a verse from uh, 1 Peter chapter 2 today. We'll read that verse, chapter 2, uh, verses 23 and 24. When they hurled their insults at him, he did not retaliate. When he suffered, he made no threats. Instead, he entrusted himself to him who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. A few years back, I read a story about a truck driver by the name of Daryl Loomis who had a regular route between Cincinnati and Atlanta. And when he was in Atlanta, he liked to stop at his favorite diner every trip. It was called Joe's Diner, and he would order the same thing every time, a meatloaf sandwich with mashed potatoes and iced tea. He'd sit at the same stool, the third one in from the left. But there was one particular time when his meal and the tranquility of that meal was interrupted as the roar of a dozen or so Harley Davidsons pulled into the parking lot and parked right next to his truck. They came into the diner and spotting Daryl, they decided they were going to have a little fun with him. When their verbal jabs at Daryl weren't doing the trick, one of the biker gang walked over to Daryl and took his iced tea and poured it over his head. And when that didn't seem to get Daryl to do anything or fight back, they took mashed potatoes and smashed them into his face. Daryl calmly wiped his face, finished his meal, walked up to Joe and paid for his meal and walked out the door. The biker gang was laughing and having a great time and one of them said, man, he sure was a wimp. He's not much of a man, is he? And then Joel looked out the window and said, well, and he's not much of a driver either. He just ran over a bunch of Harley Davidsons. Maybe Jesus didn't look like much as he was hanging on the cross. As we celebrate Good Friday and think, is that our savior? Is that the king of the Jews hanging on that cross? We can see why people were there at that cross mocking him telling him if he is the Son of God to come down. But why didn't he? He didn't. He didn't fight back. He didn't retaliate. He didn't come down from the cross because of you. He didn't come down from that cross because of me. He was completing the payment for our sins. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree. By his wounds you have been healed. That's why we call this Friday good. Not because it's good that Jesus had to suffer, but it's good what that suffering wins for you and me. By his wounds we have been healed. This Good Friday, as you see your Savior suffer for you, as you see him willing to go all the way to death for you and for me, rejoice. Rejoice that he paid the price for you and that your place in heaven with him is secure. By his wounds you have been healed. Thanks for joining us again. Remember, Jesus loves you. We'll see you next time.